what do you want people when they hear these uh, videos? Like, what are you hoping that somebody gets out of this? Like, what's the over maybe the overriding theme or the word? What should they remember from this? It, I guess it's not. There is no shame. This is not a dirty secret. It's not. They're not pulling the wool over anyone's eyes. This is federal law. It allows you to do this. It allows you to. And, there's actually a benefit to society. If there wasn't a benefit to society, it wouldn't be in the law. The benefit is you get out from under your debt and you start living your life. That person I said that, you know, are they allowed to put their kids in sports? Are they allowed to go out to dinner? Well, that actually helps the economy. When someone puts their kids in sports, when someone goes out to dinner, the economy gets better. So if somebody is strapped for debt and whether they were the cause of that debt or whether it's not their fault, they're still not spending, they're not living, and that's not helping anyone. So that's why this debt is there. I mean, this law is there to get rid of people's debt. So it's not a shame. It's not a secret. It's not, they're not doing anything that's illegal. And that's where I really have to tell people is, you know, you don't have to hide this. Like you don't, you know, if they don't feel like telling the whole world, Hey, I just filed bankruptcy. That's their privilege too. Cause no one's going to know. There's not, there's not this cloud that hangs over their head that says, Hey, look at this person. They will be surprised. They just get to move on. Um, so I'm going to, um, one last question, which is that, you know, like, so how, how do you, are they, um, how do the, how do people find you first of all? And you give me a lot of great information. So do you have this in on a blog format or how do they get, you know, if they want to know more about you, how do they find you? I, most of my clients are coming from past referrals. I mean, they'll hear about me on Yelp or on Google, but, you know, past referrals have been huge, which means a lot to me because it means I've done a good job, which is why we'll do a good job for the next client. It's all about referrals. I get a lot from colleagues like yourself. Um, I actually want to talk to them face to face or even over the phone. It's very low pressure. Um, They won't get a second call from me. I'm not going to follow up. It's I'm giving you the information, but where I find people going on the internet, they get a lot of bad information. And it may be legally accurate, but it's still bad information. It's not information that is um, practically correct. So I'd rather have somebody call me and I'd rather spend a half hour. I give free consultations, but I'd rather spend the time and talk to them either over, you know, one-on-one over the phone, face-to-face and make sure I'm giving them the right information. And then they need to take that home and decide, is it right for me? So that's, you know, I've told people, you know, somebody comes to me and they only have disability payments. They want to file bankruptcy. Well, they're almost judgment, you know, proof, right? Somebody can't collect their disability. So I'd rather tell somebody, listen, if you want to file bankruptcy, I'll make it happen and I'll do a great job for you. But if they can't come after your disability, you may not need to file that. So where there's a lot of information and that's why I don't have it so much on a format where someone can read it because there's just so much bad information out there. Well, no, I think I think what you're, you have a, that's an excellent answer because the, re, the reality is that people do have misinformation. And even right now, just doing this video, I could see if I had a consultation with you, you would dispel a lot of my misconceptions. And that's important for me to make a better decision. So I appreciate the fact that you're being upfront about that. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a people person. The, the hardest part of this pandemic is not... Um, where I had clients I've never met face to face because I'm really like meeting people face to face, but I've learned to work with it, but I still want to talk to them at least one-on-one, making sure I'm get it, giving them the right information. And most of the time I tell them, once you're done talking to me, stay off of Google because they're just getting some bad, they're getting some bad information and, you know, no offense to Google, but you know, they don't control what people can put in there. So. Well, uh, those are all my questions. Is there anything that I missed or that you uh, want to add or, contribute to this no i think you covered it really good i'd love to do this again and we'll figure out if we should definitely i'm sorry i cut you off but i definitely think i well i just had this idea and i i didn't want to throw you for a loop this time around but i'd love to do a couple of case studies and you walk you know walk me through the process because i feel like there's a lot like you said there's a lot of misinformation um that people just don't understand you know yeah i would love to do that Well, thank you, Gary. I really appreciate this. And uh, we'll definitely do this again. Andre, you're the best. Thanks so much. Have a great one.